it's uh, a playable um, virtual environment um, and it offers really a very poetic contemplative treatment of a quite disturbing phenomenon of, of the internet internet age namely the hyper commodification of uh, potentially traumatic um, historical um, events and experiences so the basis for this piece was that the artist discovered um, that on websites like Shutterstock, you also can buy things like um, CGI simulations of the 9-11 attacks. Um, you pay a small fee and then there is no royalty, they're, they're royalty free and they're, use, they're yours to use for forever in whichever way you want. So this the artist thought was really quite disgusting, I think, uh, and very disturbing, uh, this commodification um, of of horrifying um, historical events into um, commercial property and uh, really you know this is kind of a, a, a conversion a distortion of remembrance into commerce and what the artist attempted in this piece was to add an additional layer of conversion if you want to call it that um, and reinterpret um, um, reinterpret this, these materials so what the piece consists of is an immersive 3D environment uh, in which all the surfaces, all the textures that you see, that you're surrounded by, that you navigate in the piece, all of these have been created from um, these um, computer simulations of the 9-11 attacks. They're very abstract, they're, they're, they're not really um, recognizable anymore, um, but that's not really the point anyways. The point is to create a different kind of space that allows a different kind of access to this historical um, event. So when you navigate this space, you enter into a, a very contemplative, very unsettling, but, but not, um, not kind of shockingly disturbing experience. It's an, kind of an abstraction of the commercial exploitation um, that um, that is the basis for the footage.